I'm going to be reading an excerpt from Magic Treehouse, Danger in the Darkest Hour by Mary Pope Osborne. This is just one of many books in the Magic Treehouse series. I chose this book in particular because I remember my mom reading it to me and my siblings when we were younger, and I remember enjoying it, so it's just very nostalgic for me. In this book, the main characters, Jack and Annie, travel back in time to World War II. In fact, they travel back to the day before D-Day, which is when the Allied forces invaded Normandy, France to drive out the Nazis and end Hitler's reign. They were called upon by their good friend, Teddy, to rescue their other good friend, Kathleen, who disappeared over enemy lines on a secret mission of her own. I'm gonna start closer to the beginning of the book where they are boarding the spy taxi, um, which is a special plane that's gonna get them into enemy territory. Uh, Teddy has just told Annie and Jack the eight simple steps to jump out and land, jump out of the plane and land successfully. All right, gas, oil. Jack peered around Teddy at the instrument panel. There were at least a dozen round gauges. Some monitored oil pressure, fuel pressure, and temperature. There were also compasses, brake controls, knobs, buttons, switches, and levers. Oh man, thought Jack. You must have had a lot of training, he said to Teddy. Indeed, beep, beep, a full week. A week? That's all? Yeah, it was very intense. Beep, beep, beep. Psh. They said it was natural. Green lights lit up the panel. Needle swung right and left. Air and take control. Psh. It's a lot easier than learning magic. Jack felt a wave of panic. Teddy, slow down. Engine starter button! Beep! Teddy, are you sure you know what you're doing? But his voice was drowned out by the sound of the engine as the propeller started to spin. The big wheels began rolling. The plane shook as it bumped over the grass. Then rocking from side to side, the spy taxi lifted into the air. As the tiny, cramped plane climbed higher into the moonlit night, Teddy pushed more buttons, pulled more levers, and shouted out more information. His heart racing, Jack tried to focus on the eight steps. He whispered, legs together, face earth, arch back, spread arms, count to five, pull, record, elbows in, roll to the left. What does that mean? Jack shook Annie's arm. What does number eight mean? What? Number eight. Do you roll in the air or on the ground? I think on the ground. Jack nodded. That made sense. As the plane rumbled through the night, Jack whispered to himself the instructions again and again. We are crossing the English Channel. Normandy soon, and you're dropping point. Get ready. Jack crammed his notebook and pencil into his backpack. His fingers were trembling, so he had trouble buckling it. We're over France now! Oh no. We're coming up to the drop zone! Get ready to jump! Jack froze with fear. Open the door! Jack couldn't move. Annie pulled up the latch and slid open the door and crouched at the edge of the plane. With the door open, the roar of the engine and propellers was deafening. Jack looked down into the endless dark. No way I can jump. Not without magic help. Oh no, we forgot to get the wand. Teddy, we need. Teddy couldn't hear him. Jump! Wait, magic for Kathleen! It was too late. Annie leaned out of the plane. She fell forward, arching her back, spreading her arms. Teddy, the magic! Jump, Jack! Jack had no choice. He had to jump now, or he'd land far away from Annie, and they'd never find each other. Jack closed his eyes and hurled himself out of the plane, down into the moonlit, windless night. 